Now to the campaign trail and its important stop here in Colorado. With the GOP convention happening in Colorado Springs, several big things are coming out of this convention today. First, Ted Cruz's speech to voters. Also, the final 13 of the 37 delegates will be decided. Up to this point, Cruz has won all of them. We'll also have a better idea of who might take on Senator Michael Bennett. Denver 7 political reporter Marshall Zellinger spoke one on one with Ted Cruz today. Here at the World Arena in Colorado Springs, Republicans are making their final decision for president. About 60% of the delegates that are here that want to get sent to the RNC in Cleveland are unpledged, meaning they don't have a favorite. Only Ted Cruz showed up to woo them in person. And before he did, he sat down with me. Even though you're getting the majority of the delegates from Colorado, how do you guarantee that? the support of Colorado is behind you. Well, listen, the strength of our campaign from the beginning has been the grassroots. You know, in the last week, there have been seven elections here in the state of Colorado in each of the seven congressional districts. A total of 21 delegates were elected. Of those 21, we won all 21. Ted Cruz is on cruise control in Colorado, having won 21 of 34 up for grabs delegates so far, with the last 13 decided at this state convention. To the crowd, he danced around mentioning his opponent, Donald Trump. You know, it's easy to talk about making America great again. You can even print that on a baseball cap. When he sat down with me, we talked about Trump directly. The fact that Donald Trump is not here, why is that bad for the delegates here? Well, listen, I think the reason Donald didn't show up is he was scared. Uh, because when he's scared, he, he runs away. Cruz preached what's on the sign behind him, jobs, freedom, and security. So I asked how those relate to Colorado having legalized marijuana and his position on an industry that has started countless jobs and generated millions in tax revenue. The legalized marijuana in Colorado. Does that fit the three criteria that are on the sign behind you? When it comes to drug legalization, personally, I would vote against marijuana legalization. If the state of Texas had a referendum on it, I would vote no. But I think it is the prerogative of the states to make that determination. Cruz told me he's confident he can win a contested convention in Cleveland, but for that to happen, he's going to have to stop Donald Trump from getting enough delegates by the time the convention happens in July. And so far, his showing in Colorado is helping make that a real possibility. In Colorado Springs, Marshall Zellinger, Denver 7.